Uh, time for one of my favourite races of the season now in the Whitbread Gold Cup at Sandown, three miles and five furlongs. It's not called the Whitbread Gold Cup in reality anymore, but we're keeping it as the Whitbread, which is what it should always be. The top one is Lap of the Gods for Leon Van Rensburg, Casban Mulligan, David Robertson, Nickerbocker Glory, Joshua Sutherland, Yesero, Darren Thompson, Merrill's Golly, Daniel French, Bailey Plume, James Shea, America, Paul O'Neill, watching carefully, Graham Clutterbuck, Maritza, Thomas Rogers, Bayswater Marsh, David Robertson, Gallagher Origin, Martin Leadham, Darrow, Darren Thompson, West Boy Rush, Martin Leadham, Private Benjamin, Paul O'Neill, Silver Bullet, Alex Cherry, Arbor Lodge and Fifi for Paul Rhodes and Lady Monarch for Alex Cherry. That's your 18 then in this Whitbread Gold Cup and away they go. Short run to the first, which they all safely get over in America. The grey is going to be the early leader making their way towards the second of the 22 and America in front from Yesero a tendency to topple over that one but it's uh, got over the first okay looking towards the back Darrow and Gallagher Orange in the back too as they get to the second which they all save for negotiators were on there very tightly packed at the moment racing up the straight it's a ditch that one they all go as well with Lady Monarch now just the back marker but Silver Bullet from the same stable for Alex Cherry has now come through to take the lead so Silver Bullet in the lead then coming up past the stand We've got two complete circuits to go and Silver Bullet's in the lead Bailey Plume right over on the far side is just second from Yesero down closest to us is third then America the first of the Grays is fourth Lap of the Gods in the Leon Van Rinsburg colours is after that one Maritza is wide on the track in the green jacket the one widest of all on the track is a second of Darren Thompson's horses Darrow and towards the back Lady Monarch the grey for Alex Cherry and Gallagher Origin in the purple jacket are the back two so they've sort of sorted themselves out there now and Silver Bullet leads by about three lengths to Yesero and Bailey Plume and then America and Merrill's Golly run towards the next fence and the silver bullet will lead them into it oh yes a rope Bailey Plume and Merrill's golly we'll see some of these no doubt next week in the Moors Millions there's a three mile five furlong final isn't there which is the exact same distance as this so hopefully one or two of these will have qualified for that as so we get an aerial shot of them in this long run towards the next fence and Silver Bullet gets to it and takes it a little bit untidily in front but gets over it okay this is what they used to refer to as the double it used to be the double and the treble which is the railway fences later on they've filled in the water jump I think at Sand. I'm sure there used to be a water jump down this back straight years ago but Silver Bullet gets to this ditch in the lead and there's a fall on there something's gone Fifi's gone so that's one of Paul Rhodes is out and Fifi crashes out and Silver Bullet's in front. Yesero is second. Merrill's Golly is third. Then Lap of the Gods and Bailey Plume. Arbor Lodge after that. Westwide Rush is getting a little bit closer. So to Knickerbocker Glory and Darrow. Kasban Mulligan, the most prominent grey now with a second grey behind him is America as they take the next one. The third grey is the second of the David Robertson horses. They skip over the three railway fences. That's Bayswater Marsh, the final grey right out the back. Is Lady Monarch. We've lost just the one so far, then as they make their way towards the pond fence, which will be the third from home next time round. And Silver Bullet is in the lead from Yesero in second. Gap of a couple of lengths back to Merrill's Golly in third. Knickerbocker Glory and Lap of the Gods just going a little bit wide, wider still. West by Rush. Bailey Plume right over on the rail, then a couple of, or well, three greys virtually together there then. Bayswater Marsh, Casban Mulligan in America, and tucked in behind them. Maritza and Private Benjamin, then Gallagher Origin watching carefully, and Lady Mon at the back. Two as they jump over that next one, that's the pond fence, and they're all safely over that one, making their way now towards the straight for the second of three times. And Silver Bullet is the leader, with Merrill's Golly second. In Bailey Bloom, West Wire Rush and Knickerbocker Glory racing nicely together on the outside. They'll give a bit of, bit of ground away when they turn right-handed shortly, but they've got another fence to negotiate first and then a bit of an uphill climb. And it's Silver Bullet over that ditch in the lead. And they're all safely over that one as well then with Silver Bullet making his way towards the winning post and then swing right-handed for one more circle of the track. This race has gone quite quickly and Silver Bullet's in the lead. West Wire Rush is just second 
on the wide outside. Then Merrill's Dolly, Knickerbocker Glory, Bailey Plume and Yesero are still there. Arbor Lodge trying to get a bit closer in America and Darrow as well. And Lap of the Gods trying to get back into it. Private Benamin as well is in a pretty decent sort of position. Gallagher Origin trying to get closer. Casban Mulligan dropped out a little bit and Lady Monarch has been a little bit detached for a furlong or so now. So Alex Cherry top and tail in the field at the moment then with Silver Bullet in the lead. Yesero in second. America's now crept back through again into third. Then Bailey Plume, West Wildrush, Merrill's Golly, Kabaka Glory, Darrow and Arbor Lodge and Maritza on the wide outside now. As they're all jockeying for position as they come down to these fences down the back part of the track. We'll just swing towards them now. And Yesero has come through to challenge for the lead. So yes or no then, gone on by a length now, maybe just giving that silver bullet a bit of a breather, and America is third, Maritza's crept through nicely into fourth, Knickerbocker Groy looks in a pretty good position as well, West by Rush is still there, so is Merrill's golly as they take this next one on there, a mistake was by the long time leader, silver bullet, didn't jump it all that well, gets to the second of those two fences that are pretty close together and Yesero is in, in the lead now by a good two and a half lengths to Westwire Rush in second, America is third, Merrill's Golly is four and then Knickerbocker Glory is five, it's a tell you to Westwire Rush has gone, crashing four there for Westwire Rush, Lady mollock has gone as one, so too Zaba Lodge, so three of them all gone at the same time there, and it's Yesero in the lead, Yesero from America in second, Merrill's Golly in third, then Knickerbocker Glory, then creeping up on the inside is Gallagher Origin, as they come down towards the next then now, and it's Yesero in the lead, but look at this Maritza going really well on the outside as they take that one. That was the first of the railway fences over the second they go, and they're all over that one. Okay, as well, this is the third of the railway fences, and they're all over that one. That was another mistake by America, and Maritza's gone on into the lead then now, with just three to jump in the whip bread. It's Maritza in the lead. Yesero is in second. Then Bayswater Marsh, Merrill's Golly, Gallagher Origin, then Knickerbocker Glory and Darrow, watching carefully, is now getting into it. Then Bailey Plume, America, Kasban Mulligan, Lap of the Gods, Silver bullet and finally private Benjamin and they're the only ones left in it as they race towards the pond fence then with just three to jump and Maritza has quickly now gone five lengths clear coming down to the pond Maritza's in the lead Bayswater Marsh has gone second then Yesero and Merrill's golly good jump by the leader got over it really well got away from it well as well being chased though by Bayswater Marsh in second Yesero and Merrill's golly the winner might well come from this four I think because Gallagher Origin and Knickerbocker Glory are trying to run on but they've got a lot of ground to make up there's less than two furlongs to race and there's only two more fences to take and it's Maritza comes to the second last skips over it nicely good jump by Yesero then Merrill's Golly and Bayswater Marsh running on there he's watching carefully but down for final fence and over it goes Maritza Maritza lands over it in the lead he's racing away up the hill Maritza's not going to be caught Yesero's trying to close so's Merrill's Golly and this is going to be another win for Maritza Maritza's racing up towards the line and Maritza's going to hold on from a fast finish in Yesero Maritza takes it Yesero is second then with third place was Merrill's got then watching carefully in Bayswater March and Gallagher Origin Bailey Plume after that long time leader Silver Bullet was last and Maritza takes it, that could be another big win for Thomas Rogers who's had a season and a half for his first year, yes it nearly caught him but not quite let's get a full list then for the Whitbread Gold Cup finishing positions It is indeed. It's a win for Maritza for Thomas Rogers. Yesero for Darren Thompson. Jumped well today in second. Merrill's golly for Daniel French was third. Watching carefully for Graham Clutterbuck fourth. And Bayswater Marsh for David Robertson was fifth. <laughs>